Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows. We've got a ton of virtual reality news stories to go over. We've got games, we've got a new rumor that PlayStation could be developing their own headset that is not the PlayStation VR. And also Apple have just released a picture of their patent for the boundary system of their virtual reality headset. And I can't wait to share it with you. Let's begin. So let's start this off with Synth Riders treating us again. They've already given us so many more game modes from its initial release and so many songs at no extra cost as well. But now we've got a new song pack, an album's worth of EDM tracks in this new update where half of these songs, not the entire song pack, half of these songs are actually going to be free and the other half are going to cost you a small little price if you so wish. So this is called the Cyberpunk Essentials Music Pack. It's available via Steam, the Oculus platform and Viveport depending what you're playing on. I'm not really on the EDM scene, so I'm not really familiar with any of these artists, but you may do. I do recognize Tokyo Machine though, at least. So these ones on screen that you see now, these are the five that you're going to be able to enjoy for free. And then these five are the one you're gonna have to pay a little extra for, about $9 or seven pounds. These songs also support the play together feature. So if you've got a friend and you want to play each other and you want to play these songs, both of you don't require to own the song pack, which is amazing. So you can both enjoy these titles and they do support the 90 degree 180 360 and 360 plus game modes go nuts okay let's move on to the next one that i find very epic but it might be for more of the older crowd that watch these videos or some of you that may use these applications so researchers have come up with a way to turn google sheets or microsoft excel the spreadsheet app into 3d using virtual reality. The University of Cambridge helped with this research and have also created a video, if you want to check that out, showing the painful use of filling in spreadsheets on a tablet. Then the user puts on a Vive headset and displays multiple functionality that's now available because of the VR headset. You have a pen as your point and click device in this environment. They also show some basic Excel functionality such as formulas and clustering, even the ability to open multiple sheets at once. And if you've used Workbook books you know the pain of having large data sets then trying to cross reference information from one and then on the other having multiple up on the same screen because unless you're dealing with small data sets it's just going to get really really cramped but in vr you've kind of got the space that's all around you. You've got so much room. It also has the ability to look at nested functions in their hierarchy, another nerdy feature, but something that's very, very handy to help understand complexity within your data. I'll leave a link to the research paper and the full video down below in the description for you to check out. Because one day the office, it will be our headset. If some gal can make this happen with a Raspberry Pi, why hasn't Facebook released something like this instead of their portal device? So Lorraine Underwood took it upon herself, put it in her own hands to deal with constant confusion around who people are looking at in video calls when you're surrounded by multiple people. She created a solution and it was solved with a Raspberry Pi, some tilt hats connected to some motors, some cameras, a web server, and of course a Raspberry Pi and a Gear VR headset. Side note, Raspberry Pis are amazing. They are small, affordable computers that you can dedicate anything to. You can set up your own private cloud storage within your home if you want, stream movies from it. What I did was I created a sensor and used it to control Internet of Things devices within the home. It's just so much fun. <laughs> Just, just check them out. They're great. So in the video that she released, you see the devices in action. It has a very, very large range of movement for big rooms. It can turn 180 degrees, 90 to the left, and then 180, so it's facing completely right. She even takes a selfie with this thing and then puts on a virtual reality headset. And you see the camera moving around looking where she is now facing in virtual reality, using the headset to look around the room. This might be great for the office so you know who people are looking at, but the applications of this go way beyond that. I think this is really interesting, and he did it with next to no money. A really, really great job. Okay, so this one is very interesting. It took me by surprise. I came across an article, and the title said, Sony confirms on a next-gen VR headset that might not be the PSVR 2. So there's many, many questions here. Sony confirmed that they are working on a next-generation headset after a job listing popped up for 15 people to build a team that can help create the mechanical design 
of the lens barrel that supports the optical system of the headset. The reason this seems like it's not for the PlayStation platform is because Sony Interactive Entertainment didn't raise the listing, Sony Corporate did. And with an expected timeline of this product to take about five years, this is way beyond the expected release date of the PlayStation VR 2. So could they be looking at creating a PC VR headset? Could it be a more simple commercial headset like Apple are working on? Could it be a standalone like the Quest? Or could it be the PlayStation VR 3 that they're preparing for, even though it's five years away, they're preparing themselves now for it. I'm very interested now to see what this could be. Sony are clearly invested in virtual reality and are making the most of getting as far ahead as possible before the market gets saturated. They can maintain that lead and be dominant in this space. Please let me know your thoughts on this one. Comment down below. It's a nice cheeky piece. I'd like to hear what you think. A new app coming to the Oculus Quest. Oculus just posted on their blog a new application coming to the platform called Alcove. A social app that is focused towards family. You can hang out with your family, play casual games like checkers, travel around the world where you can go all over the planet, even underwater, to look at all the fishies in amazing photorealistic environments. You can also watch media and just relax with your loved ones. This was available on the go, but it's now coming to the Oculus Quest on August 20th. In this app, you can make the space your own, make it personal. You can have a family pet. You also have the ability to put up family photos around the environment, make it very homely, make it your space. Now more than ever, something like this can be very handy for many of us who have been isolated for so long and need that interaction, that presence, that virtual reality can provide. Way more so than a phone call or just a text. No idea of this coming to the Rift S, the blog didn't say it was. Just seems like it's coming for the quest. A very last minute story today. So excited. We got the Linkin Park song pack. Finally, some rock tunes that I was hoping for, but I wasn't expecting Linkin Park, although there were some rumors going around that said it would be so. So this song pack is 11 of the band's greatest hits and a new tunnel environment to play in. It's going to cost a little more though because there's more songs. So it's 11.49 in the UK and about 15.14 in the States. But it contains classics like Faint, Breaking the Habit, In the End, Numb, A Tip to the Hat, to good old Chester, may you rest in peace. I'm so excited for this one. Let's talk about Apple VR now because they have just submitted a patent for their boundary system that just seems light years ahead, so much more advanced than the Guardian system that we have on the Oculus Quest. This also once again solidifies the work that Apple are doing in virtual reality and augmented reality because it's super exciting that they are going to release a VR headset or at least I hope they're going to release a, a headset because mass adoption should, if the track record is what Apple's used to, go through the roof. So this was submitted in March, but it's just been published a couple of days ago. The patent is called Detecting Physical Boundaries When Immersed in Virtual Reality, working the same way that we are familiar with. Once approaching the edge of a boundary, there's gonna be a prompt saying, back up. So this patent contains a two threshold system with each threshold being activated at different points, depending how close you are to the boundary. The first threshold is a visual cue like, be careful, you're gonna run into something. And the second will be more like a pass through from my understanding, showing the physical world or at least part of it where the object is going to be. Once you leave the boundary though, the pass through will activate. Upload VR speculated about the images, saying in image one that when the user is outside of the boundary, it's going to show a doorway that you can look through into the virtual world. And if you pass through that door, you'll be back in virtual reality. That sounds fantastic. And then when they're walking towards the table, there's an object in the play space. The user is then prompted with some sort of icon as a warning saying, be careful, there's something in your proximity just be cautious. There was even more interesting speculation from Apple Insider. The virtual glass plane, which pops up when you're approaching something, would correspond with an actual wall or another object in the real world. It could deter a user from running into the obstacle. Other examples could be that they turn physical objects in the real world into simulated ones. Like if you're on a beach, they'll pop an umbrella there because you're not going to walk through the umbrella, you're going to walk around it. And that makes it very seamless for the user. I think that is such a good idea, especially if you're in larger play spaces with lots of little toys all over the floor. This seems like a way more advanced version of the object detection system that Oculus have just implemented for the Quest. Pretty interesting stuff. And once again, acting as evidence that Apple are going to be working on a virtual reality device that many people are still calling gimmicky or novelty. Virtual reality is the future. 
So that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching to the end of the video, getting caught up on the latest and greatest in the virtual reality space. Please bring me one step closer to the dream and subscribe to the channel. Thanks to my patrons, you absolute legends, and happy gaming, guys. Good day.